The arrival of new owners at Stamford Bridge has not impacted Chelsea's ability to spend big in the transfer market. Todd Bowley might be very new to owning a football club, but the American billionaire has taken a very hands-on approach towards getting deals across the finish line. And in a few days, the Blues will be able to welcome two really good players. Everyone expected Xavi Simons to finally realize his true potential at PSG, but the young Dutch midfielder has just left Parc de Prince as a free agent in order to try out his luck in the Eredivisie. As Manchester United edge closer to completing the signing of Frankie de Jong, the Red Devils' transfer machine is now purring. Apparently, Richard Arnold and John Murtagh have done something the club has never done before – hijack a deal. Barcelona, on the other hand, have set the price for Memphis to Depay. So, this is the lowdown of what we're going to discuss today. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified about all of our upcoming videos. The future of Memphis Depay is still not settled at FC Barcelona. Appreciated by the locker room, the technical staff and the management, he experienced a first season of ups and downs. Arriving to satisfy Ronald Koeman, the former Lyon man saw his compatriot leave a little too early. Under Xavi, he certainly played less, especially because of the many arrivals in the winter transfer window and two injuries, but still did well whenever called upon. Result, at the end of this first season in Catalonia, Depay accumulated 13 goals and 2 assists in 38 games in all competitions. With Aubameyang in, he gradually lost his starting spot, and the possible arrival of Robert Lewandowski will not help his case. Barca want to keep him, while being aware of the player's market value. These days, the Blaugranas are counting their money, and a departure can't be ruled out. His case has also been the subject of numerous internal discussions, according to Sport. Not because he divides opinion. Memphis Depay has become a locker room leader and a point of reference for the signings. His role is that of a wild card and a luxury option. Unfortunately, owing to Barca's lack of liquidity, his sale would be good for the club's coffers. It is therefore a question of finding a way out for him now, but nothing will be forced in this specific case. According to the Catalan Daily, the management of FC Barcelona has set the starting price at 20 million euros. Representatives of the media are aware and know that a transfer is an option. Nothing says, however, that he must leave. Moreover, Sport specifies that in the event of a scenario where the 28-year-old player were to stay at the club, negotiations for an extension would be initiated so that the Netherlands international does not leave for free next year. Courted by Olympique Lyon for several weeks, Tyrell Malassia was supposed to land on the banks of the Rhone, but in recent days, the fate of the left-back of Feyenoord has changed. After trying to close the deal with an offer of 12 million euros plus 3 million in bonuses, OL had to revise their offer, largely due to persistent interest from Manchester United. The Rhone club then confided that it had submitted a new proposal and was awaiting a response from Feyenoord. Optimism was no longer there since we learned on Tuesday afternoon that the Red Devils had put 15 million euros more in bonuses on the table to win the bet. On Wednesday, everything changed. L'Equipe reveals that Malassia called the seven-time French champions to tell them that he had chosen to join his compatriot Eric Ten Hag in Manchester, information confirmed by the sports director of the Batavian club, Frank Arneson. The agreement is there. We now await Tyrell. If he says yes, then a move to United is imminent. Coincidence or coincidence, Malassia's agent also manages the interests of a certain Frankie de Jong, whom United are trying to bring in. Lyon will have to move on. It's a huge clap of thunder. Xavi Simons has just left Paris Saint-Germain without having extended with the capital club. A major surprise since the latest information pointed towards an extension with the Rouge et Bleu, followed by a loan to PSV, who are now coached by Ruud van Nistelrooy. In the end, the negotiations were visibly broken between Simons and PSG as the 19-year-old midfielder took time to write a farewell message to the club as well as to the Parisian fans. After three wonderful years at the club, it's time to say goodbye. I am very grateful to the coaches, the staff, my teammates and all the staff. PSG will always be in my heart. For the fans, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, I love you," he posted on his Twitter account. 19-year-old Xavi Simons, who left Barcelona for PSG, has only played seven games in Ligue 1 since last season. Often announced as a big talent in the making, he's never been able to have more playing time. Even when PSG had a comfortable mattress of points ahead of their rivals at the end of last season. In any case, PSV are rubbing their hands and formalized the signing of the Parisian number 34 until 2027. 
PSV have signed Xavi Simons, 19. The talented Dutch midfielder signed a contract in Eindhoven on Tuesday evening until mid-2027. Simons' contract with PSG expires this summer. He could have extended in France, but the youth international prefers PSV to the French champions, for whom he played nine games last season. On Tuesday, Simons travelled to Eindhoven for his medical and the club and player completed contract negotiations, the statement read. However, all is not lost since PSG have a buyout clause for the young midfielder worth 4 million euros at the end of the season. It's definitely time for departures from Manchester City. After luring Erling Haaland into their net, the citizens sold Irish international goalkeeper Gavin Bazunu to Southampton and are actively negotiating with Arsenal for Brazil international striker Gabriel Jesus. But that's not all. The Telegraph tells us that the Mancunians are in discussions with Chelsea for two of their players. The first, we already know, is Raheem Sterling. The information has also been confirmed by the Daily Mail, which mentions a transfer on the right track for an amount of nearly 65 million euros. The second is Nathan Ake. The Dutchman has impressed Thomas Tuchel since the time when the German tactician worked at Borussia Dortmund. The experience and versatility of the Dutch international in the Premier League are all arguments in his favour. Moreover, Stamford Bridge is an environment he knows well, since he spent seven years there from the age of 15. However, current focus is on signing Sterling, who is reportedly eager to leave as well, and experienced life as a rich football player in London. The England international is likely to struggle for game time next season and Pep Guardiola has also never been too supportive of him. But this isn't it. Down the right flank, Chelsea are in need of some inspiration as well. Callum Hudson-Odoi hasn't impressed on a regular basis and all eyes are on Rafinha, who is currently very popular on the transfer market. With 11 goals and 3 assists last season for Leeds, the Brazil international was at the heart of a real battle between Arsenal and Barcelona. The Spaniards have lost interest and have given the charge to Chelsea, who have come literally out of nowhere to offer the world to the former Sporting Lisbon star. According to information from The Athletic, the London team has more than a head start, since an agreement seems very close for the transfer of the former Stade player. The British media claim that Chelsea are ready to make an offer of £55 million, or almost €64 million, Euros, to secure the services of the Brazilian. And on the other side, Leeds United could crack at this price. Therefore, we would have to wait to know the preference of the player. As a result, as it is, Thomas Tuchel's team could bring in two really good offensive players for next season, and if they manage to do that, they'll definitely be going for big things.